Hello and welcome to Truth in Telecoms. We've got a lot to cover today. Johnny, how are you? I actually took notes. He uh, yay, for today. Focus. It, it, I I took notes, and people keep talking about you're all over the place. An old movie with with uh, Alan Arkin, Serpentine, Serpentine. You got to keep running and ducking. So yeah. everybody should watch that movie, Alan Arkin. I forgot the name of it, but but um yeah, I mean look um. A big week. I mean, you came yeah. back from vacation and you lit up the best CX week ever, uh, from you. my opinion, which I say that every week because it keeps getting better. So either it just you keep getting better or the, the news just keeps becoming more insane. It is the news. <laughs> you know I, what I mean? Absolutely, it's the news. And, and if you look back at the history of the content that we put out yeah. over the last year, it's insanity. Right. If you, yeah. when you, con you know, because I've been sending stuff to people now that people are now finally paying attention where they should be because FCC. Yep. Uh, you've been you're being lied to. You yep. get lied to every time. If you yep. watch the hearings with Mike Rudolph, they only want to talk to him because they're tired of everybody else lying to him. Exactly. John Tester is going to kill somebody one of these days. Mm -hmm. um, yes. uh, you know, you've been lied to FCC. Yeah. Uh, when <laughs> when is it going to stop? Exactly. Yeah, right and now, we showed right the now. documentation in terms of how TCR responded to the FCC. It's the TCR, it's the operators, it's it's anybody you could talk. I, I don't know if these yeah. people are there to protect the public. And look, they, I think the information they're getting is from people that are making money on the grid. Exactly. Damn likely, call labeling, or whatever it may be. And that, yes. and you can't blame these people either. They're asking him a question like, let me just point this way. Yeah. Um, but I, I think this is a big week, I think. I know there's meetings in D.C., and I, I, I think they're, they're going to be – I mean, look, nothing usually happens in an election year with these agencies, whether it be FCC yeah. or FTC. Yeah. But I think right now there, there, are, there are tons of people recording people on phone calls to do AI-generated scams, whether it be yes. calling your, your, your grandma with a deceased husband or, 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 or different variations of frauds now that are, yes. are becoming very real. I mean, you see, you see, you see the deep, deep fake porn stuff that's going out there on these women, which is horrifying. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, at the end of the day, so we have there's so many different things here. But look, I think we need to start uh, on my, on Twilio right now, yeah. um, and 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 walk into the deck, and then really get into the FCC, and hopefully they pay they're paying attention. Yeah, because it's enough. The public has had it. Yeah. But, um, it's it just continues. It, you know, all these claims about, well, we have this mitigation, this mitigation, and people and are have, afraid to take a call. And then your post for Microsoft. Microsoft is basically saying what we've been saying for a year. Hey, yes, exactly. Guys, and they said China's preparing to meddle in the election. That's Microsoft saying it. And, Rick and they're Joyce already, has been saying already that in there. since last year. Well, it's not only Rick Joyce, it's what Bill filed. Yes, What insiders exactly. filed with these CFIUS. Yes. Yeah. And exactly. they're there. Yep. The, the entire, I want everybody to understand something. Uh, Taiwan is China. Whether you know it or not out there, Google it. One China policy. Uh, the whole tech team is there. China mobiles with math. And look, yes. I have nothing against Chinese people. I grew up near, near Chinatown. Plenty of friends. But there's, there, there's certain things going on in the world yep. that you got to be cognizant about. And they shouldn't be in national and critical infrastructure. I Correct. remember when Cineverse, Cineverse got busted open a few, a few years back. They had just bought ASIN. Yes. They were in there for five years. Yes. Yeah. Everybody knew. Guys in Cineverse knew. Um, but let's get back to Twilio, because Twilio, we don't yes. hate you guys. Actually, we've been sitting here promoting yep. and trying to keep the industry afloat because you're so important to the industry. Yep. Somebody oh, yeah. last night said, well, the info bits talking to Twilio. Everybody was trying to get their hands yes. on Twilio Cash. I mean, exactly. months ago... Months ago, the PE was talking to Twilio, employees at Twilio, because everybody talks in this industry, guys. Yeah. Everybody's been everywhere and they communicate. And, yeah. you know, um, about um, that deal, that deal going on. And what's going on now? Let me tell you what's going on right now. Right now, you've got activist investors that if you, if you pool their one and a half billion, one billion, three and a half billion combined, they, could, they took all their money. They couldn't acquire Twilio and take it public Correct. unless they threw in the cash, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you've got a board that's being, that no question about it, is done whatever they've done. Today, Twilio's only traded 300,000 shares up until right now, 11 a.m. And that's 150,000 shares one way in, one way out. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. People are numb to it. Yeah. So, guys, it's kind of over. So what does the new CEO have to do? He has to go and say, we're going to take a path to profitability. But Jim Craner's gone. Yeah. They're all gone. They're crying about the employee stock. And you have the activist investors that are holding something on these guys. Now they're, they're, they're going into stuff at Bessemer. I'm not sure if the new guy from Sachem is with the new activist. I think he's an insider. Uh, comes from Persian Square. Big yeah. time group. Yeah. Um, and where they're going there. And you got Jeff Imholt, the yes. guy who destroyed GE there. Nothing yeah, against I, the guy. Yeah. Maybe he caught a bad hand, but he destroyed GE. And for a lot of you people that don't know what GE is, just think of Apple in the 80s <laughs> or, or uh, in the USA. I mean, GE Capital. Yeah. Every massive. car loan. Yes. Massive. Exactly. And so that might not be a good thing. And the investors, I I, po- I just post stuff that investors are talking about. Yes, I think I think investors are done here. Look, you yeah. guys gambled, you lost. Yep. Uh, I mean, if Twilio doesn't get taken public, I hear some rumblings about Cisco buying them, which I don't, I don't see how that makes any sense. Taken private, you mean? I I heard I heard some rumblings about Cisco potentially buying them from from one of your friends. Yeah. Uh, in the industry, very credible guy runs a hundred million dollar company. Gotcha. And I'm like, I don't really not buy that. Just because got their own issues and growth and what yeah, have you. Yeah, it's Maybe what I, my services businesses. Yeah. I'm so I don't. There's no buyer and there's no big player. Yes. So active. These are little activist investors that are getting in there with fifty million, fifty million, hundred, another fifty million. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. It's and, so beer. and they're shaking it up. Um. So look, I think the only chance Twilio really has is for Twilians to come together. Yeah. Uh, because what are they going to do? And they're going to start firing people, guys. Yeah. And they're going to do yeah. what- They'll be what, squeezing what, costs, yeah. They're going to have to squeeze costs. But look, it's in, a, it's in a very, very difficult place. There are other problems you guys have. TCPA is coming. Why is this our quiet right now? Because yeah. TCPA is up 40% in filings. Yes. Right? There's, like I said, I know a law firm right now that spent 300 grand just trying to sue you just because they think you're sending spam. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. But really what they don't understand is it's going through- your customer's customer, which is almost impossible for Twilio to protect against. And it's not really yeah. their job. It's the job of exactly. the operators, yes. which comes back down to the campaign registry. Yes. So a lot of people are asking questions, you know, what went on there? Yes. Right? Oh, yeah. And, and what went on there? What went on there was Calera tried to sell the campaign registry to Twilio. Yes. I spoke to the guys from Twilio. They basically told me we would pay $30 million just to shut it off. Yeah. Right? Because it's such a headache and it's so convoluted. Yeah. They didn't really say it from the standpoint of they would just want to send more spam, but no. everybody knows Trulio makes money off spam. And now the and the mobile operators make money off spam. So you have that situation that went down over there. Then I got brought in, right? All spam filters off. Trulio managed their own numbers. They made a big prepayment. Yes. Well, and, and wait till Bill Peters can start talking, which is going to be pretty soon. Yeah. Uh, you all. Because then it won't be coming from me. Um, and then you have the $750 million payment to Cineverse, right? Yes. For yeah. a minority state. Twilio can send, Cineverse can, has his own pipes. Yes. They can blend. And years A2P, before A2P, A2P was, yeah. A2P, A2P messages were blended through P2P. And they did just enough, just like they do at AIT right now. So it's the new AIT in the USA, really. Yeah, that's true. How they yeah. blend enough that's to- tolerable. Yeah. So, you know, the guy talked about, oh, Infobit, you've got to stand in line behind Cineverse because Cineverse wants the rest of their money. Because uh, it, it's, it, And I have a feeling they're going to come out and have to play that card. They're going to have to do something because it's becoming epidemic. Yeah. And it's getting really, really bad. And the politicians are very angry. Go watch yourselves, guys. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. worse. And yeah. the stuff Attorney that generals hear, are fuming. When you have 51 attorney generals screaming, and now you've got all these other privacy laws because they're basically what the government what they're doing right now. And now with this big tech coalition that all came together and saying, well, because of robocalls and because of all these different types of access points, uh, the government can actually listen in on all your conversations and read all your text messages and what have you. Yep. A- instead of them cooperating and what have you or not. So it's really a cluttered event. Yes. Uh, but, but Twilio is important. Yeah. And look, Kozima, you blocked me. I don't know why you blocked me. I was out there singing your praises. It doesn't really matter because I'm irrelevant here. 
But what's relevant to me is your relationship with the campaign registry. What happened over there? Exactly. Why did you file it? Why did you file something with Bond Evolution and then actually pull back on it? Why is Telnex the only one going forward on it? Mm-hmm. Uh, on that on that situation. I don't know if you know about that, Alan. Because they bent over. I heard Cloud Communications bent over and kissed a ring as well, which we'll talk about that later. And you, we know Memphis kissing every ring they can get their hands on. Oh, yeah. And that's fine. And look, the whole ecosystem needs Twilio. They need Twilio to survive. Yep. Right now, where is it going? Do the activists win? They're winning. They're winning right now. Uh, point blank. Um, did Kozima get rid of Jeff Lawson? Like another very credible person told me on the inside. I don't know. Does it really matter? Not really. Not but Twillians, point, Twillians have to really stand up. Yes. They have to band together because without the Twillians, there's no Twillian. Correct. Exactly. And you guys have enough stock to come together and, you know, I don't know, yeah. Alan, form, form a union firm or something and say, guys, hey, get a couple of lawyers yeah. as you're selling your stock every day. Not a big deal. But you need to pay attention to what's going on over there because I'll tell you what else is going to happen. There, you guys bought the 800 registry. Then you took over Cineverse or whatever that relationship is. Yeah. Now you control 80 to 90% of all the campaigns in the USA, right? Yeah. yeah. You are a monopoly in the US. Correct. But you were allowed to be that monopoly because you had an $80 billion market cap at one time and everybody was just gunning for your money, yeah. including the operators who have now flipped the script yep. on charging a penny for spam and a half a penny for registered. Yep. Registered exactly. is just sign your name on a piece of paper, all right? So I think... The message to you guys out of Twilio is pay attention. We come with receipts. It's not that hard. Yeah. You guys should be paying attention to what's going on over here. Asking questions. Yes. Um, I, I don't see anybody big sniffing around at Twilio. It should yep. be taken private. Why does Twilio have to become profitable? Why? Jeff Lawson had $3 billion in the bank. He was right. He's like, I'll keep my money, my war chest. He should keep his war chest because he's already got the edge with the monopoly in the USA. There mm-hmm. really is only one CPAS company in the USA, no matter what you guys are saying. Um, there are great acquisitions that Trulio can make. I mean, Absolutely. you talk about Infobit, that would be a little bit too big to swallow, yeah. although they, they know what they're doing. Yep. You've got, you know, Tintech would be the easiest one. Yep. And even, even GMS, another solid con- company, that would be kind of expensive. So there are ways where they don't have to partner with these big prepayments internationally as well. Exactly. Um, and also, CPAS is becoming more localized. I mean, yes. Link has got some cash in the bank right now, but nothing to that extent. Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and the GTC deck. Let's just dive into that real quick, right? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. That was a surprise. Who is GTC? Smart guys. Tintech University guys. Good guys. <laughs> Giovanni, Be- Giovanni, Giovanni Benini is a great guy who's not allowed to talk to me right now because when I was selling Tintech to everybody and their mother, or trying to with you, Scipio partners, because you told me to sell it. I brought in the bankers, dealt with all the companies. Well, the ones that Dorsten didn't bring in, because it's not about selling Tintech, it's about what deal does Dorsten want. Yeah. Where does he want to go? He tried to do a deal with Soprano Design, who, by the way, I'm really this far away from getting him on the next show, Excellent. which to me, they're the, number, they're the number one company pound for pound. They're the pound for pound champs. Oh, they're yeah. Middleweights, but they're the pound for pound yeah. champs out there. Um, and the only deal that was really done was a deal where Dorsten was going public and he was getting shares, right? Yeah. So, look, that's a deal that Tulio should make. Uh, are there other deals? But but now they're going reverse. So they're going to do a $2 billion stock buyback. The investors are going, great, the stock's going to go up. What do the activist investors want to do? Mm-hmm. Well, they bought at 40. They want to cash out at 100. They'd like to cash out at 150. They don't care about Twilio. They don't care about their customers. They care about nobody. Trulio's got loyal customers. Well, let's talk about inflation. Yeah. yeah. Americans are paying 40% more for all their groceries. That has a cascading effect on markets. The interest rates are higher. Trulio yeah. needs to survive. It's not really about the shareholders anymore, although legally it is. Mm-hmm. But they were already the biggest grift going. It's a $70 billion grift, right? You're talking yeah. about a company that's at $80 billion telling the whole world, we're a software company, we're this, we're that, we're growing. 
you know, I continue to grow, just not a 30%. It's I remember, 5%. I remember when, they, when they first went public, I had friends of mine that got, you know, they're big trade, they're big investors with Goldman. They got free stock. They're like, hey, we got this Twilio stock. What is it? I'm like, get as much as you can uh, <laughs> of it because it's going to go. Yeah. Because it was designed to go. It yes. was it was set up to go, yeah. right? But, yeah. you know, it, it still has to be saved. I, I don't know what's going to happen over there. But we're going to start poking. And and I have a feeling as we start to poke on the antitrust, because for my money, for what I believe, I believe the mobile operators designed all this. But will the FTC go after them? I don't know. But what yeah. they will go after is you guys. Yes. All day long. You're low-hanging yes, fruit. You're yeah. easy. Nobody will complain. Yeah. I mean, they're not even – like, look what they're doing now. you got hedge fund guys in there running yeah. roughshod. Yeah. And the guy from Legion, look, he was involved in the Vonage deal, one of the biggest heists in history. Yeah. Uh, and, and look, good for them. And they did a deal. They still – I mean, Bon. I'm sure Erickson still thinks they're going to get their money back, even though they wrote down $3 billion yeah. already of it. Yeah, but exactly. Who, you know, where things are going tomorrow with the consolidation – but the whole messaging ecosystem, because Twilio is a messaging company. It is. Uh, it's all, yeah, we are basically 850, then 750, in, in addition to its existing business. It's been building yeah. for years. So it is now predominantly an aggregator you know, within the U.S. Uh, internationally, it still has to partner and do those you know, sort of dodgy prepayment deals where some of it might be all above board. Others, it needs a third yeah. party to operate it for them. Yeah, I was talking to somebody yesterday. Well, how do you guys know them? We have the smartest team out there. We've been there. Look at my team at TCR. Look at Alan. We forgot what you guys know about this business. And we're able to look from the outside and we're able to get information. We've got 19,000 subscribers. I can't tell you how much info we got coming in. We can't even handle it all. Yeah. Um, and like I, I got called a fraud expert. I'm not a fraud expert. I just witnessed in real time uh, what happened with the campaign registry because I was involved in that. And I witnessed yeah. real time the industry being involved with Tintech and also being having a hub in the USA where traffic was blended. Yes. That was it. Good traffic, bad traffic. God, I don't send too yeah, much. Yeah, that's so it. it's been I around. But now the, the, the fraudsters have found out, hey, you know, went from robocalling to spam text. Oh, yeah. robocalls are down. Yeah, number one, people don't answer their phones. Yeah. Number two, it's more targeted with, yes. with AI. Oh, yeah, yeah. Number it, three, messaging is too easy. Yes. Yeah. Right. And the fraud keeps, you know, basically the total fraud keeps going up. So it's like, yeah, okay, they're just getting more targeted and more successful. Trillions of dollars worldwide. Yeah. yeah. And it's all through communications at one point. Yeah. Right. Now, That's obviously, it, it eventually, like they're starting to do with billing on the blockchain, there has to be a trail. Eventually, yes. a company like TNID or the 10 companies that say they have the same similar solution. Yeah, it's funny how so many, so many people have get where it needs to go. Yeah. But, but who's going to deploy it. Right. And this was set up by middle managers, the operators, and these guys are heroes. Um, and they, co they cooperate without any oversight from CTA. CTA, where are you? Yes. What are you doing? Yes. Who's on the board of the CTIA? A lot of companies that weren't asked to participate in that survey, they came out from GTC. Yep. Um, again, smart kids. But what about the people that weren't asked to go in there? Right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, and, it was and, very targeted within that GTC yeah. survey. I mean, Twilio, the big hole, but that leads in and shows something else that was going on. Then there's a whole host of CSPs, some of which are looking to exit the SMS business because of the mess of... Well, well they have to. What's also. going on right now, there's a crunch. Yes. And... Big boy, Cineverse doesn't pay campaign no. fees. No, nope. right? No, nope. the okay. carriers don't don't do it between each fees. other. You know, but I no. mean, if you go back, if you read one critical comment in there, it's what Chris Weatherings from AT and T said. So what happened over there is Chris Weatherings with Soren, the founder, yeah. and the, the whole team over there, they've been trying to sell the company. They're still trying to sell the company. Yes, you got absolutely. founders that have no equity in some, but they're the founders. Yeah. The real founder is Bill Peters and Kirk, who's there, uh, still there. They found this thing before they even got there. They came on to do, um, um, you know, consulting with Hook Mobile. Yeah. Uh, and I, how do I know? Because I temporarily ran my network through Hook Mobile when I had to move it at Irish Wireless. That's how yeah. I got to know all these guys. You know, Irish Wireless was a hub for China Mobile back in the day. Yeah. Uh, so I kind of know other things that are going to start coming out. So when I said I'm going to start dropping stuff, I'm going to start dropping stuff, guys. Mm -hmm. 
and Twilio, come clean. Yeah. Look, Jeff Lawson had to do whatever he had to do to survive as a business. Mm-hmm. You could look at it that way, or you could look at it, he bought himself edge, right? Or you could look at it, he was shaken down. Either way, this is where we are. Exactly. But I, when, I'm not going to tolerate the rest of this industry uh, not opening up their eyes or at least talking. Like we're getting tons of, we're still getting, we're getting our viewers back now after we got blocked, mm-hmm. which is amazing. We even got a hundred likes and some dislikes. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. I love that's the good. dislikes. Come, yeah, that's The good. dislikes are the best. <laughs> that, you know, but nobody's disputing anything. Our message monopolies, our triopolies, no. and we've got other stuff coming out here now. But look, that deck is important. The um, GTC deck, yeah. The carriers, well, the carriers knew it was broken. Yes. Yes. Why'd you keep going? Why didn't you start the other registry? Well, you can see the Why? frustration, though, in like, you know, they were saying, look, we have the short code register. It works. Can't you just automate that for basically the 10 DLC register? I mean, you could see the frustration at what had been created. I mean, it, it was a stakeholder where you could see it was a highly political, you know, uh, document where every, you know, all the executives that have paid for this report, they're great. TCR is great. And it's like, come on. But look. TCR, maybe thirty million a year in revenue. I know it's A to P messaging, twenty billion. Yes. And what did the carriers do? They yeah. got a full guy to campaign registry. They'll yeah. blame them. They'll blame agents. They'll blame everybody else, and they'll run out the back door. Yeah. And it's sad. It's really sad because they're publicly traded companies, and there should be some accountability. Correct. Uh, and they have to fix it. Yes. I mean, right now the robocalling is a complete disaster. Uh, at the at, just complete disaster. What's going on over there? So now they're, what I am, what I'm, I'm being told, they're out there listening in on calls, monitoring all this stuff. And don't even get me started on short duration and what's mm-hmm. going on over there with the funneling of traffic. Yeah, but let me look. Cineverse, Cinch, to a certain extent, can pretty much pipe whatever they want. How, how are they going to know? Yeah. You know, I mean, Cineverse is really critical infrastructure for the operators. Oh, yeah, yeah. You know, I'm, I'm, and Apple's having a ton of problems right now with bots. Yes. They're being inundated, yeah. right? What's happening there? So we have a, a completed. We believe we know the solution. I don't know. Have you gotten in touch with Noah? Is he coming on anytime soon? No, Do you no, an idea? Yeah, yeah. I haven't had a coordinated campaign uh, on Noah. Yeah, he, he's had he's a mention, probably, but uh, he, we'll, he, we'll, we'll, with a coordinated yeah, campaign, he's got to come we'll on. on. Yeah. Or, but there's other you know, solutions out there as well. So that's cool. Yeah, but, but to me, that, that's, that's the one that, that allows you to control. Yeah. It controls oh, no, I you. I agree. It's fit for purpose. But The, the one that I've seen so far, and, and like yeah. I said, I believe I believe UML has something very similar. Yes. Uh, yeah. Like I talked about with his trillion-dollar database. I mean, just look at the people we've had on. You know, UML, yeah. Minicelli, Robert Burton. Bitch, where are you, bitch? You're hiding again. <laughs> <laughs> he hasn't invaded any countries. Nothing. Come on, exactly. come back, no, no, do no. something. And you should be jumping in on this too, because if, if you're looking for the U.S. market, yes, how are you getting in? Exactly. You know? Yeah, we, we, we got to pay attention. But you know that deck. I think we got to do a whole show on that. I think we got to get some feedback on that show. Yeah. FCC been lied to. Yeah. FTC major antitrust. Yeah. Lena Khan, worship you. You 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 know whatever you're saying you're saying, yeah. but it's, it has to stop the spamming of the of the of the, of the public we'll stop. has to stop. That's the key. And, and M and A in the industry, look, it's it's exciting. It's it is what it is. It's, you call it M and A, call consolidation. I mean bandwidth, good assets, not much cash in the bank. Have large debt payments coming up too. Yeah, they'll have to navigate on that. Yeah, uh, but but Twilio, what you're doing a stock buyback for who? Yeah, for the activists. Yeah, because nobody else is trading every day. Yeah, you got yeah. you got black you got what BlackRock and yeah and, uh, Vanguard in there. They don't even care. They got they yeah. just spread their money around everywhere it, it is. It, and they're so vast. You know what I mean? It's a, it's but, a bit. But they're not they're not calling the shots over here because they don't care. It's too small yeah. for them. Exactly. But I, I think you guys need to rethink what you're doing here. Yeah. Because I, again, we're just going to keep going. And as far as who framed Bill Peters, we know it was yeah. the guys at the campaign registry and Mark Romeo. Did the board go along with it? Absolutely. Because if Bill Peters did not cooperate with the board, you never would have been able to sold, sell the company. Correct. And me being an idiot, I convinced Bill to go and work with, with the board and clean the whole thing up because there's still other stuff to come out. Yeah. Because, see, SPACs are fundamentally now. Yes, now. Illegal. Correct. 
I mean, look, look at look at the two socials back. He, they're already suing each other. Yeah. Why sponsors made? It's just, but everybody did it kind of like for a few years there. Right? Yeah, yeah. It was like hell. We're not getting sued for this. Go for it, and it just became yeah, the fashion. It, well, you can't. I mean, they're, they're basically le- we're legal, but now certain things you can't. And there's certain hearings that are going on in Delaware. Yeah. Yeah. about it and a brilliant Stanford professor that's doing some amazing stuff. And oh, yeah. the SEC is not, but the SEC is overwhelmed. I mean, I mean, what SPF did and the amount of money he lost, he lost very little money for people, right? Twilio, you lost $70 billion people's, of people's value. Pension okay. funds. New York State exactly. has, has pension money. Michigan is buying it. They don't know. They're brokers. They're like, oh, this looks good. But you never even turned a profit. Yeah. So my opinion is Twilio needs to really harness a little bit of Jeff Lawson, hold on to the money in the bank. Don't yeah. pay so much attention to these and, and, and just board resign or something, do something, take yourself private or somebody's got to come in there I clean and kind the of boards. be a savior. The boards somebody's to got to save the company. I don't see that anybody coming in. I don't think anybody's smart enough to actually come in there, but we just laid out a blueprint. But yeah. I think Twillions, I think Twillions, it's your company. Yeah. Doesn't operate without you. Exactly. You know, what What are your, you know, I had one guy tell me, I don't care as long as my, you know, my service gets paid. That's not the right attitude. No. You know, there's a lot of good people that, I, you know, I know a lot of good people. I have good people there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Who it's aren't texting me now because they think I'm going after them. I'm not going after you guys. Um, no, but you are. They are one of the constituencies that can turn the vehicle around. But also, you know, all these deals that were cut with TCR, with, you know, Cineverse, it just it needs to be swept clean. So, Cineverse has not real sung his last song. They're putting out videos. Oh, we're working with the carriers. Which one, what are you? So, Twilio's working with the carriers. What, what, what's going on yeah, here, guys? Exactly. It's like, what is it, three card Monty? Yeah. What, what are we doing here? Yeah. You know, which we haven't brought up uh, uh, who's behind the whole Cineverse thing because, you know, that fund closed 20 years ago. I know. Um, and again, you know, for them, it's like, are we still in investment in that company? Yeah. But Tintech University, GTC. Net number. Exactly. Their whole tech team, Marco. Look at Marco. Marco goes from sitting in the basement at Tintech to now being part of meth because he was a brilliant kid. Oh, yeah. Him and another guy over there. They're the tech team at Net Number. Yeah. Um, over there. Um, which is, and I haven't heard much about them other than I obviously are trying, everybody's trying to get their hands on something that doesn't work. Yes. Right. Yep. What are you buying? Yep. It, it's, it, this is, it's got to be gutted. Everything has to be gutted. Um, and it, it comes down to identity. Will it happen? Yeah. I don't know. But FCC, you've been made a fool. We've had hundreds of thousands of views, a half a million impressions. We've laid it out. Nobody's arguing with us. Yeah. Nobody can. A lot of people don't want to hear us yeah. uh, for whatever reason. I don't blame these, a lot of these people either. But we're going to keep we're going to keep coming. We're going to keep banging. Yeah. Oh, and yeah. Bill will be talking soon. Yeah. And exactly. I don't know, Alan, want to go back into the China, I guess, because you were really, well, I guess, lit up with Microsoft, because Microsoft's the biggest company in the world, guys. Just, like, yeah. You know, don't and, they, knows and they're pointing to China. I mean, because it endorsed what we've been saying for a year. You know, I think they've been reading Rick yourself. Joyce has pointed it out several times. Remember when he did that FCC filing recently? And then Lanthan Watson. Bill has evidence. Fun- Yes. Bill went to every agency except the Department of Education. And if you knew where it was, you would have went there too, right? <laughs> yeah. You're talking about silencing an Air Force major. Yeah. Oh, I hear rumbling. Oh, we're going to be, you're going to beat him. You're going to beat what? How come nobody sued anybody? Yeah. What, what are you guys doing, Mark Romeo? Disaster. You should be sanctioned. And I believe you will be when this is all said and done with. But, you know, the problem is the legal system works slow. Yeah. They haven't exactly. even ruled yeah. uh, on, uh, on his it's case in Delaware yeah. yet. Yeah. No, the arbitration is one thing. They haven't ruled on the case yet. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, but the right. amount yes, of litigation complaints, yeah. that's going on over there is insane. And look, we don't want to hurt Calera employees either, Tata. But you bought the farm, Tata, because yes. Bill Peters made you aware. He sent you a file. Yeah. And he sent you a file to your lawyers, too. Yeah. And your lawyers went and recommended Bill for another company. Why don't you think about that, Tata? So who's, who's doing drugs at Tata? Who is it? Is it the CEO? Is it the new guy, Mysore, with oh, you know Soren Shaft? Now you got Mysore Shaft. I had to do that again. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but 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 who's who's smoking crack over there? Who, who's complicit? 
Because clearly when that dossier bill delivered, that should have you know, been like a whole point. It's like, guys, yeah. we oh, can't. Our DL it's... policy will take it. No, 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 we're not done. Yeah. And and people are going to come because once he starts talking, military guys are going to come. We don't do that to American military people. We, we just, it just doesn't fly. Yeah. Tata. Exactly. So just come clean, Tata. Yeah. But you bought the farm. Yeah. You you knew what the problems were, and you decided to say, I throw some money at it. Go smack them around. Yeah. Nope. Exactly. That's yeah. why I'm here. I yep. started this podcast for two reasons. One, Alan, let me. Two, what they did to Bill Peters. Three, actually, the real biggest reason is what I've what we've unearthed on yes. the spamming of, of America. It's fast. Bill Peters didn't even know. Yes. The only reason he found out that the original plan with the numbers and the tracking yeah. uh, got lifted is because he went to go find out how many customers he was losing to Twilio. Twilio. Then he found out, was like, oh, we don't store any numbers. Oh, yeah. oh, and is any of that confidential information, guys? So I'm here. I'm going to start putting more stuff out. Uh, you guys are just, it's just horrifying. And the whole company's international, too. I mean, Rick's whole point was this needs to be separately owned, yes. not by the carriers, not by the CTIA, not by exactly. any other company. Uh, I don't care if it's Eric or iConnector or Net Number. It yeah. needs to be independently owned and run by itself and run right. But Correct. I don't even think you need a registry. I think you need no. a TNID blockchain type of solution. You just need that identity. Tracks everybody. That's it. You know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Which look, I don't want to go down that path. I don't want to go down the free speech path either. <laughs> I don't, yeah. don't want to end up uh, we'll get banned again. And... <laughs> but it doesn't matter. I mean yeah. there are solutions out there and you know from a variety of vendors, and we just need to start as an ecosystem, trialing yeah. them out so we can then rapidly deploy. Because once the FCC forces that an SSI self sovereign identity based solution out there, things happen fast. But who are they even talking to? Who are we talking to? We're talking to elected people, right? I really have a lot of hope with the FTC. I yeah. mean, they're worried about blocking TikTok, which passed in four days, never happened before. I know. It's yeah. 300 plus people. Yeah. So they have their own. Once they get their set on a way, it goes. But this is really simple. And believe me, the Swifties are going to come, guys. Mm -hmm. Mark my words. When they come, the public, the only way I believe we're going to get this is going to be cleaned up, Alan, is when the public realizes yeah. and can, and we're starting to get more and more attention. People yep. are reading more, more people are reaching out. Yep. Oh, and yeah. uh, guys, we're not political here. Uh, but no. there's a lot of shenanigans going on there, too. They can text and call you as many times as they want. Why? Why? You know, when, when we were kids, we didn't walk around with the home phone. But now you've got kids walking around with a computer and a phone and a communications yep. device, and it's open, yep. and the kids are being attacked. When are they going to be protected? Correct. Because, again, that's for me, is the biggest thing of all. Oh, yeah, but yeah. Twilio, cold as well, yeah. I don't know what you guys want to do. You, you keep locking no, me. I'm going to keep poking. This, this is my one call out to you guys. Otherwise, look, I'll get Bill ready, best, best finance guy, you GE guys. He runs circles around you, and he was at GE too. He he started messaging, so we know where everything is and how everything flows. Well, he's a father right? internationally. But I'm saying it's it's comical. Like these people don't know because he's quiet. They don't realize. Yeah. So and then you know there's Rick and the rest of the team. So let's stop it. Yep. Absolutely. Let's stop it. Let's reach stop out. Fun. I tried to reach out to one of the activist investors. Say like, hey, give us a call. You want to know what's going on for real? Like, what are you doing? Like, stop it already. Yeah. Clean Twilio up, save it, because the customers don't want to go nowhere. They're loyal. Yes. They're not taking Twilio's customers. <laughs> no. They're too no. big to fail for end communications right now. They mm -hmm. are. They're too critical. Oh, yeah, come to us. US. Come where? Absolutely. Come where? Where are yeah. you going? You're not going anywhere. Yeah. Somebody but, from Cincinnati is going to be good for us. Really? And what are you going to offer them? What? Low SMS cost to Zimbabwe? Like, what are you going to give them? Yeah. Right? So- Yes, Twilio is important. Companies important. Twilios are important. I, I, again, I, I have nothing against uh, the new CEO other than, look, he's a finance guy, and he's getting shaken around. Yeah. And and he blocked me. $13 billion company? You're blocking guys on a podcast? <laughs> really? Come on. But you can come learn from us. We'll take you to school because we forgot what you know. Trust me, because you're listening to all these different people. International. 
it's another cluster. Exactly. And, That's a different thing. And I don't want to go into the Foreign Corruption Practices Act and what's going on there. Yeah. So come clean, guys, and help us uh, unravel this uh, campaign registry. Yeah. Otherwise, I see a clear path for you guys going on because you monopolize the U.S. Yep, absolutely. No matter how you look at it. Things. Yep. And uh, or just hurry up and go give the senators the rest of their money. Yeah, um, but the FTC has a case because you can see it, it, the, the whole market, the CSPs are looking to exit because it's just so damn difficult, whether it's a 10 DLC or an 800 SMS, same on the voice side. It's a whole industry that's getting basically reduced down to a few vendors. When we get into voice, going. it's going to be brutal. Because yeah. the more I'm learning and the more I'm hearing in that racket, like my email was 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 uh, was talking about. But look, we have a, we've got exciting podcasts. We have the best innovators here. Sir yep. Alan Quayle crushing it. We're going to do a truth in telecoms. We're going to start going to more tech as well. We have yep. a line of companies. We've done private AI. We've done Minicelli, Voxit, Strollin, crushing it. Yep. What a business they have over there. Absolutely. So look, we're in our own lane. And Tad Summit is important. Tad Hack's important. I think you got Signal Wire tonight. Yep. Right? Oh, yeah. Tad yeah Hack the hacks from Tad Hack. Yep. It'll be fun. You know, let's, talk, let's talk about positives. And... Um, I don't know. I, I smell cinnabers. <laughs> I smell them. Oh, they're coming. Dear. I know. And they, they are doing more marketing now. You know, so oh. the yeah, cinnabers. they joined the CPAS AA. They joined your buddies. <laughs> I mean, really? Cinnabers joining the CPAS AA? What's going on there? Yeah. You know, well, at least they can spell CPAS, I guess. They're the only game in town. Aggregate. They're marketing. Yeah, it's like the campaign registry. Let's give Twilio an eighty percent discount, even though they have to come with us. Wink, wink. Oh, really, that's, uh, so yeah. I mean, that's just when you look at the other discount, it just reeks something was wrong there. And we just again just need to sweep the floorboards, get it cleared out because the the thing that's happening at the moment is competition is being reduced. It's harder it's and harder to come in and play. Internationally, it's actually cheaper to call now and just do a your know, fifteen second call to say, "Hey, is this a transaction that you did?" Then send a message, which is like so it's perverse, you know. So anyway, lots to come in the coming weeks and months, and you know, it's an interesting time to be in programmable communications. Guys, Microsoft. Yeah, that's it. Yep. Cinch, what happened to your employee over there? You block messages in Arizona. Yep. Exactly. What's on those recordings, T-Mobile? Doesn't anybody want to come look? FCC. Really? Come on. Yep. I was hoping Czar would reach out to him, but I think he's too busy just running the cash register with all the TCPA. <laughs> well, when you he's not even going after the rate, you, you know, know what? I still, I still see Cinch on his reach team. Yes. And what's going on there, yeah. Alan? Yeah. Right? So Cinch is still on the reach team. G-Money came out and basically said, ah, they're liars. They're all this or that. I know. And then everybody disappears. Like, oh, I know. Don't go yeah. near them. Yeah. Yeah. Wait till we come out with the code of conduct. <laughs> you guys are, they're creating the code of conduct for messaging. Can you imagine? Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. As has been said to us several times, it's a board of offenders. We're here. You said that, I think. <laughs> no. The Viz said that. Correct. <laughs> I wasn't going to directly attribute because I couldn't remember whether it Viz, was I in... ratted you out, Viz. I ratted you out. <laughs> Give us a call. Want to buy a Tintec? <laughs> okay, we'll finish there. <laughs> I'll talk to you later. <laughs>